Hello buddy and welcome to episode 8 of Brunswold. In today's episode we're going to work on a botanical garden um, this high school here uh, in the city and uh, also do some more expansion with some cube houses. So um, yeah, uh, this episode is actually going to be uh, pretty short to be honest. I, uh, I I thought it would turn out a little longer because uh, when I recorded all this it felt like I had recorded a lot of footage but uh, Apparently not, but I, I think we did some pretty decent uh, progress, and uh, uh, yeah, the reason I didn't record even more uh, was because I I kind of want to move on with something else in, uh, in this project uh, and try something that I've been thinking about, which will be for the next episode, I think. So yeah, I have some plans, which I think should be pretty cool. Uh, anyways, I guess I should talk about this episode instead of the next one. Um, but yeah, so I'm putting down this school here, this high school, and we actually don't have any schools, uh, or we actually didn't have any schools in this uh, town before, so I thought it definitely was needed to put down one of these. And um, it's a cool asset, and the building is really cool as well. Um, it's like a, a old style school, I guess you could say, and uh, I think it looked really cool. I can't remember the creator of this asset, but... Uh, yeah, great job on that ass at least. <laughs> it looks really cool. And um, I thought it was a great fit there on that sort of boulevard, I guess, leading up to the to the war memorial. Um, but um, I'm, I'm putting down some cube houses here. And um, if in case you didn't know, these are by Titan. And uh, they're really nice for like transitioning from the main historical city center out to more suburban villas, I guess. And uh, yeah, I guess these like houses here, these cube houses would be uh, some pretty expensive homes to live in. And my plan or my idea with this little area around this school and the botanical garden will be right over the street from the school as well. Uh, but uh, my plan with this area is to have it feel a little bit more wealthier, I guess. Um, like a an older, like wealthier area because... Uh, up behind the uh, the castle, uh, I'm planning on doing some like modern mansions and stuff um, later on in this uh, project. But uh, I guess this would be like the older, wealthier area. Uh, like back in the day, the this is where like the wealthy people lived <laughs> in these um, in these cube houses or whatever. Anyway, I'm I'm working on some parking here for this uh, school. <clears throat> um, not too big of a parking lot, but uh, I think the size worked out pretty nice because uh, it wasn't really possible to do any parking on the front. Well, there is street parking, but uh, I thought that that wasn't really enough. So wanted to add this parking lot behind here as well. Uh, then just put putting down some bicycle uh, stands here. And I put down a bunch of bicycle racks on the on the front yard, I guess, of the school. Um, I feel like that's a pretty realistic thing to have a lot of bicycles. I guess a lot of students would would take their bicycle to school um, or just take public transport. And I know a lot of people have been asking for public transport uh, in this project. And my idea with the public transport, I we have actually one bus line in uh, Brunswold currently. Um, I put that down very early in this project, but. Uh, Sort of my idea with public transport, um, like bus lines and stuff. Um, I kind of want to put those down when we have made more progress on the town. Because, um, uh, you know, all of the roads aren't really laid out uh, exactly <laughs> how I want them to be yet. So, um, I mean, I, I could definitely do some public transport now. But I just feel like I want to expand the city a little, a little bit more and then... Then make some bus lines that actually make sense. Because um, uh, sometimes when you haven't really expanded uh, your city uh, fully, uh, you tend to like put down some bus lines and then they sort of don't make any sense. Uh, anyway, so yeah, I, I think I'll be waiting a little bit with the uh, public transport. And I know a lot of people have also been asking for trams um, for Brunswold. Uh, I'm actually not sure if it will do that. Uh, I might do like some some tram line or whatever, but uh, I really haven't decided on that yet. Um, it's not planned currently. I'm not really, um, you know, planning for trams, but uh, we could implement them like in a more modern sense, I guess. Uh, like it's a more modern development with the tram line. But yeah, that's for the future. I currently don't really have any plans for that, so... 
just letting you know, but uh, it's definitely not an impossible idea. It's not that not something that I've rejected. Um, but uh, but yeah, so doing more detailing around these cube houses using a bunch of these hedges, which I really like the textures on these are super nice. Um, but this episode is actually a little bit shorter than usual. Um, I, I thought the, the length of the time lapse, I guess, would become longer. Because when I recorded, it felt like I had recorded a lot, but uh, apparently not. Uh, but I uh, actually decided to not really uh, make this episode longer than what it already is, which is about 14 minutes, the time lapse. Um, I just got overall pretty happy with the progress. And we actually made a lot of progress. And the botanical garden, which you'll see in a few minutes, um, it actually takes up a lot of space. So. Yeah, it, uh, we made some progress in uh, this episode with these cube houses, this high school here. And uh, yeah, pretty nice to do some expansion as well. Um, but uh, yeah, in the next episode, I, I kind of want to do something a little bit different. Uh, I'm pretty exciting. It's, it's going to be interesting for me to make the thing I'm going to do in the next episode. I guess I shouldn't talk about this because I kind of want to wait to talk about it with, for the next episode. So yeah, I'm just going to tell you that I think it's going to be interesting. Anyway, <laughs> uh, now we're getting into building the botanical garden. And I thought this was a really cool spot for it. I don't know. I, I felt like this spot would make sense. <laughs> like, I don't know if botanical gardens tend to be in more high end areas. I don't know if that that's a thing, but uh, maybe it is. I'm not sure if you are an expert on where botanical gardens are situated in cities. Uh, let me know. Uh, but uh, I feel like they would be in a nicer area at least. Um, but uh, I'm using this um, this asset, which I can't remember. Um, it's not the vanilla botan botanical garden, but uh, it's some other asset. The vanilla one is just really blue, so I don't like that. This one is I mean, the, the colors and the shades are just more realistic on this one. So that's why I ended up using it. And I, I kind of like the shape of this one as well. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm doing a lot of just putting down bushes and flowers. And that's going to be pretty much <laughs> the rest of this episode. So um, in case you're a fan of that stuff, I'm sure you're going to enjoy this. But uh, yeah, I'm like, I don't really have too much knowledge about what sort of stuff would be like in a botanical garden. Um, I'm sure like people like Mr. Mason uh, has some some criticism of what I'm doing here, but uh, I'm just doing my best. I'm, I'm trying to just make it look realistic uh, in, I guess, a way that I feel is realistic. Um, so I'm just trying to make it look aesthetically good, I guess. Um, not sure about all the realism here, but uh, as long as it, it looks good, I'm, uh, I'm definitely happy with it. So. So yeah, but I've been talking now for 10 minutes and I want to leave you with some music for a short period of time because as I said, this time lapse is not too long. So I'll be back in a few minutes. So yeah, enjoy some music.
So I'm putting down this uh, pond here in this uh, park uh, around the botanical garden. Um, and uh, I've sort of seen these uh, at a few places or a few botanical gardens that they ha tend to have some sort of pond with water and stuff. Um, so I wanted to add that. I thought that turned out pretty nice. Uh, but I also added some of those tables there with uh, yeah chairs and tables so people can, people can sit there. And uh, I put some of those, um, uh, what do you call like some sort of signs where they can see the menu and stuff. Uh, so it sort of looks more like a cafe, I guess, where people can sit and drink coffee and overlook the pond and see the botanical garden building and uh, yeah, just a nice spot. And uh, yeah, did some detailing around that pond as well with those uh, those rocks by um, by Ronix, and they're always really nice to use because uh, sometimes you can't really use those big rocks uh, for like small ponds like this. So. Uh, those rocks are nice, but uh, I'm trying to put down some of these uh, um, cherry trees, um, or no, they're magnolia trees. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, I, I put those down uh, all around the botanical garden, and uh, I did that because I wanted to get some more color, because uh, everything is very green, and I mean, that's that's realistic, but uh, it's nice to get in some more color. Then I also downloaded these uh, flowers by Pidelmo. And uh, these are really nice. I was able to do some nice detailing with these and I actually haven't used these before, but uh, I think we're gonna have to use these a lot more in the city. But uh, this park here is definitely gonna take up a lot of my FPS and I'm already sort of noticing it. But uh, I mean, I don't know what to do. Like for, for a park like this, for a botanical garden, you sort of need to have a lot of uh, like foliage, bushes, trees and stuff like that uh, for it to be realistic. Um, so there's not too much I can do about the FPS and how my game performance is. So, um, so yeah, it's sort of tricky. Um, but uh, I mean, it's doing decent uh, currently, but uh, but yeah. <laughs> so this episode is coming to an end. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, we did some nice progress. And yeah, if you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like. Also, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. If you want to see updates, screenshots and that sort of stuff, follow me on Twitter and follow me on Instagram as well, where I post screenshots. Uh, but yeah, it's going to do it for this one. Uh, and I'll catch you in the next one. Have a great day and bye bye.